Hi, I'm Lauren and welcome to my YouTube channel, LTA Creations. I am an acrylic pourer. Let me show you some of my other work. I'm an Australian living in America. I've been doing acrylic pours for about four years. I started with a very large set design piece that I did with a compressor gun and then I continued doing it at home as a hobby. Since moving to the States two and a half years ago, I got into a more regular habit of pouring. And last year I started doing festivals throughout Atlanta and will continue to do that this year. I have my own website, ltacreations.com. And now I'm starting my very own YouTube channel. And I hope that you will tune in and subscribe as I post new videos. Come into the studio and we'll get painting. As you can see before you, I have eight small canvases that are of different sizes, but I'm going to paint them as one painting. And I'm doing Dutch pour style. So I have two six inch by six inch or 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter. I have three eight inch or 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters or eight inch by eight inch. And I have three 25 inch, sorry, <laughs> my confusion, 10 inch or 25 centimeter. They're 25 by 25 or 10 by 10. I'm actually going to start with a really dark blue base for this Dutch pour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to get the canvas base ready for you. Do a little puddle just here, another little kind of puddle here and then another one here and then blow out from there. So I'm going to start with the light blue. just I don't want it to be dominated it's orange but I like how it works with the blue and the green colors okay This is the mix of Extreme Sheen and the Pearl.
draw some paint around the edge. basically blow out from all of this. how I lay them out because I wouldn't lay them out in a straight line. I'll actually spread them out so you can see the finished product. Okay, so starting at what was on camera right, coming down It's a nice mix of color. I'm actually paint with lots and lots of color usually. So this is quite different. Like some of you might go, it has got lots of color in it. But for me, this isn't heaps and heaps of color. I love where there's the little pops of the fire opal. Little cells over there right on the edge. That 24 karat gold glimmers. So I'll take you back out again. Like I said before, when it's dry, 
I'll show you the fully finished product. Here's the finished painting hanging up. I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. I'll take you in and show you it up closer again. I've finished the painting with resin. I do that with all my works. Gives it a nice glossy finish. Makes it look like it was when you just finished painting. So I like that. Gives it that wet kind of glimmer to it. I really like how there's pops of gold and the pops of the fire opal, which you can see in this canvas. Thank you for tuning in and watching. If you want to see still photos of this, feel free to go to my website, ltacreations.com, and you can look the painting up there. And I will see you again next time. Bye.